What's up beautiful people? It's your girl Chrissy Mack and I'm back with another video. So yes, I have officially made it to four months. Four months, like I think I like the number nine because the ninth of every month is a special day for me. I'm gonna be celebrating all my wins and because I made it to four months, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how I feel today. So if you guys know anyone that can benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Take a moment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. And if you've done that, welcome to the family. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. Hitting four months has had its ups and its downs. And I have to say, I am grateful and I am blessed every day I wake up just to have another chance at life. So the first thing that I have been experiencing is joint pain and fatigue. Yes, guys, I mean, to the point where we were so scared that my lupus was active again, we actually had some extra testing done. I was getting a lot of joint pains out of nowhere. My joints, my knees, my elbow, everything, even to the point where my elbow started swelling up. And I remember those days, those were my lupus flare days. We couldn't get hold of my rheumatologist, so I told my transplant team, listen, I know how to read these numbers I need you to give me this test script so I can go down to quest and I can get my labs drawn for my lupus so I can see if I'm actually in a flare or not my biggest concern is that my lupus becomes active again and takes down my new kidney well we don't want that guys we don't want that at all so we did the testing and everything came back fine it does show it does show that I still have lupus, but the numbers were not elevated. Didn't show any inflammation, none of that was going on. So I'm okay with that, but I really don't know what's been going on and why the joint pains have been coming up because I think the medication that they're giving me should suppress my lupus symptoms. Well, it hasn't. So I definitely gonna be making an appointment with my rheumatologist once this COVID time is over. In the meantime, I'm just gonna to have to chug along and deal with the pain until I feel comfortable going to the hospital. I'm also noticing hair growth. Yes, you guys know, I lost all my hair due to lupus and I am growing it back. Yes, I may have a new style every week that you guys see me in, but underneath this, my hair is growing back and it's growing back so nicely. I have no bald spots, no thinning. It's thick, it's nice, and I'm loving it. I can't wait for it to get to this size, guys. I am seeing a difference in the hair growth. I'm not taking any like hair vitamins or anything like that. I'm just, you know, keeping my hair moisturized. I'm washing it, I'm conditioning, I'm doing treatments, and I'm just manifesting that I'm gonna to have big hair so I have seen a difference actually last week was the first week I was able to wear my hair up in a high ponytail and it was like a little puff guy I'm really excited that that's happening for me because I have been tired of the shortcut for so long so the third thing that I noticed is I'm gaining weight slowly so you guys know in my kidney transplant vlog video I talk about how I came into the hospital I was at like about 120 and that's because I had already lost a lot of weight from all the vomiting and the nausea. So when I went in for the transplant, I was at 120. When I left after that transplant, I was only there for a couple of days, I was 106. You guys saw that video. I was bones. I was a stick figure at that point. And so my goal was to come out of the hospital and start eating more. It took me a little bit of time, but now the weight is slowly coming on. It's not piling on fast. You know, I thought it would have because of all the medications that I'm on, but it's just steady. So, you know, I'll see like an increase, you know, one or two, but now I'm officially between a 113, 115. So I have a long way to go from my goal, um, but I am making progress with my weight and I'm so happy about that so that means I'm getting healthier and things are looking bright for me because my hair is growing and you know I'm gaining a little bit weight so the fourth thing I would say is that I feel more confident so as you guys see, I'm smiling, I'm happy, you know, I wear my hair out and I'm just excited, I'm smiling about it, I don't have any ball spots like I said, and my clothes are fitting a little bit better. Mind you, I will be getting a new wardrobe once I get to my desired weight. My clothes are fitting me better and I just feel more confident in myself. So when I go out and interact, I'm not, you know, hiding because I don't want nobody to see me. I'm like, hey, I'm here, you know, shoot, I, four months? 
I just got a kidney transplant. I think I look damn good for four months. Tell me what you guys think, how am I looking? In the last couple of videos, I have been complaining to you guys that I've been feeling so much pain at the incision site. When I originally had the surgery, I was in a lot of pain for some time. And over time, it got a little bit better. It was a little bit more manageable and it went away for a little bit. Well, when my third month hit, if you guys go back to my third month video, you'll see I was in so much pain by that incision site. I don't know what the reason was behind it. The only thing I could think of was scar tissue developing. Well, now that I hit month four, I'm not feeling any of that pain anymore. I'm not feeling any pain when I bend down, when I get up, actually, I feel just fine. Well, I'm really glad that that kind of weird away. I was a little concerned just knowing that that pain was still hurting me after some time, but it was a major surgery, so I have to understand that it takes time to heal. Sixth thing that I noticed is, even though the incision site feels good, when I rub my finger across the incision, I feel a little bump or a lump. I was very concerned that there was a bump there, but after doing a lot of research, other people who've had a kidney transplant has said the same thing. And some of them have even said they have a few bumps. I only have one little knot. So what I do is I just massage it out every night. I get some lotion and I just massage that area just so the scar tissue doesn't get any worse than it currently is. But I think I'm doing okay just for that little knot. And it doesn't hurt even though I touch it. It just feels weird that I do say it does feel weird. The seventh thing is I'm still eating more. I get so hungry still at night. Something about that late hours. I'm a night owl, so I'm always up late and I'm always snacking. I love my snacks, I love my fruits, I love making little shakes and you know, so I'm eating more. So I think that's why the weight is starting to come on and I'm really happy about that because I was having such a hard time you know, before the transplant and even right after the transplant. I had a hard time just, you know, getting used to going back to eating those kind of foods. And now I eat everything fine. I eat more than enough now, but I eat everything fine. I have no nausea or vomiting at the moment. So that's a good sign, but I am eating more, like I said, and I'm getting a little bit of weight. So that's all part of the healing process. So it's showing that I'm doing well, my body's reacting good, and I'm so stoked about that. The eighth thing that I noticed is that in the morning times, I have tons of energy. So the morning is where I try to do most of my activities because when I wake up, I am like a ball of fire. I'm like, okay, it's time to work, it's time to clean, get the kids together, do homeschool, you know, just have this schedule. I like time blocking as much as possible and cooking and like I have all this energy. But as soon as it gets to night, that's when that fatigue hits, I'm tired. But for some reason, I still can't sleep well. Most of my energy is in the morning time. So I just try for myself to get most of my activities done early. Walking is essential to the healing process. So that's why number nine that I noticed is that I have been walking further. So every time I go for a walk, I try to push myself to go a little further, a little further, and a little bit more further. To the point now, I'm able to walk the trails within the park with no problems. You know, with our trails here in Georgia, there's a lot of hills. You know, you're going up, you're going down, you're going around, and I love it. I put on my sneakers, I have my headphones, my husband and I will do our daily walk. We even have the kids now because they're home at this moment. So we'll take the baby, we put him in the stroller, and we just go for a nice family walk. It's such a nice, good workout. I'm not lifting any dumbbells or doing anything like that, but the walk has been helping with my healing process. My doctor already told me all he wants me to do for right now is to continue to walk further and further in my walk distance. So I'm really proud of myself. I'm doing that, and you should be too. So if you just got a kidney transplant, walking is vital. So make sure you put those sneakers on and you get to walking. The 10th thing that I noticed that is happening since my four months is that I've been getting a lot of pains in my ears. At one point, I thought I had an ear infection. It was so bad, I couldn't lay on it, even if I touched the ear. So on my left side, I said, okay, let me get some ear drops. I put some ear drops, that didn't help. It felt like nothing was helping to the point where I had to take Tylenol. I know I don't like taking any kind of medications, um, but I had to take Tylenol just to help with the pain because it was that severe. So 
Then all of a sudden, this went away, and two days later, this ear was hurting. So I'm like, okay, something is definitely going on. The only thing I could think of is when we increased the dosage of my ProGraph to eight, because they did ask me recently to go up in the ProGraph amount, that's when I started seeing all these minor side effects. You guys know, these medications are toxic, Yes, I hate taking them, but I need them to live. So they're going to be side effects. I just have to deal with them as they come. But I thought I had an ear infection. It's not an ear infection. It hurt me for a week, one side here, the other half of the week, this ear. But now it's better. I was feeling pains all on the side of my face. So I was very worried, you know? And my appointment with my doctor isn't until next Tuesday. So these are just notes that I have documented. I do plan on telling them what the increase of the program has done to me. So those were the top 10 things that I've noticed in myself since I hit my four month. But there are some changes that the doctor had required. And I wanna go over that with you guys. One of the changes, like I said, was the increase in the program. I guess my numbers weren't high enough. And because I'm not doing the Bella, there's still no Bella being done. So there's no infusion, there's no going to the hospital. And honestly, it looks like there's no going to the hospital till even fall. Because one of the representatives, the person who schedules, called me and said, hey, I'm gonna need you to add on these blood drawn dates. And you know, they took off my future Bella. We don't know when we're gonna be doing the Bella. We want, probably won't do it for another couple of months so as of right now for the whole summer I will not be doing the Bella infusion at the hospital still and I'll just be getting more blood work just for them to track it the reason they want to do more blood work is because I'm not going to be seeing them as frequently so because I'm not seeing them as frequently anything can happen things can change overnight we all know that if they get me to do blood work on a weekly basis or maybe every other week then they're able to track and monitor me just a little bit better we're doing more blood work but we're also getting more telemedicine calls. And I actually like that. When your doctor calls you, you have a discussion, you figure out what's going on. To me, the doctors are a little bit more personable over the phone than they were in person. In person, I felt like they were more in a rush because they had to go through patient to patient to patient, whereas this is my block time. They sit down, they talk to me. They seem a little bit more caring and concerned during this time. And I guess it's because they can't see me on a weekly basis, so they have to kind of envision what I'm going to and really listen and hound in on what I'm talking about. So I like the attention. I like that one-on-one -on -one attention a little bit more with the telemedicine. So my hospital is doing great with that. Kudos to them. Mentally, because we're going through such a crazy time in this world, there's so much going on. I'm not only healing from a kidney transplant, you know, my kids are home right now when I'm working from home. There's like so much going on in my life that I have now implemented manifesting and my gratitude journal. I talk about that in a previous video as well, you know, where I am just writing down what I am thankful for and I'm grateful. Today, I'm just thankful for waking up and seeing another month of life. It is a true blessing and I'm so excited to see what the future has in store for me. But my four months has been great. Today is actually my brother's birthday. He's my kidney donor. We're sitting down talking about how good it feels. He's celebrating, he's turning 31. We made it to four months and we're healthy and we're strong. So it was no better blessing than that. I can't complain about my four month journey. I wanna hear some success stories from you guys. And if it, even if it's not a success story, I wanna know how you felt within your first four months of getting your kidney transplant. For those of you that aren't on the list, please go ahead and get on there. It's gonna completely change your life. And for those of you that are on the list, don't worry, your time is coming soon. All right guys, so that is my four month journey that I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. It helps the algorithm when you guys interact. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Otherwise, I just wanna let you guys know I love and appreciate you guys. All right guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. So today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about... No, let's start over. Four long months. Nope, not long months. I have officially made it to four months, guys. Four months. Thanks. Is it playing? Oh, I'm live. All right, let's figure out. <clears throat> okay. I need to change locations. 
I don't want it all to be in the same spot. 